Hi friends. Let's get ready for the world's largest, longest yard sale. I've never been, I've always wanted to go. Um, and Adam's actually who mentioned that it's going on. And I was like, well, I can get all the stuff I need to get done, which that completely motivates me to hyper focus and get a lot of things done. This morning, I'm going to the yard cell um, with him. He's gonna go with me. It's gonna be so fun. Are you watching live or are you watching the replay? Say hey in the comments below. Have you ever run to the world's longest yard cell? I've not been, I've wanted to go for years, probably 10 years, um, and I've never been. So, happy Friday. If you ever have extra, I got too much. Let's do the tops of your hands. Okay, I used Plump from Palmafera. If you're looking for a good hyaluronic acid skincare that's gonna tighten your skin, shrink pores, it's just so good. Um, then, I highly recommend Palmafera Skincare. I just posted um, the link for CourtneySwan.com. Uh, there will be a link for Palmafera there. There's a link for Unique Makeup. Um, to get text or email notifications is also on there. Um, really exciting news. I have been working with uh, Top Shelf Wardrobe for, hmm, well, I don't know, for a few years, but the last few months we have been curating a collection. And so it comes out like, I'm really excited. I've never had like a collection dropped from a brand before. And so it's got like cute little Courtney X tags. I got it all in. I don't, I don't know if I'm even allowed to talk. Maybe I hope I don't get in trouble. I don't know if I'm even allowed to talk about this actually now that I mention it. Um, but surely it's just not available to shop yet. So, um, there are so many cute pieces. I'll show you a couple of them, but, um, this set, it's going to drop this part of it and so I'll show it to you. Have you ever seen any, I just need like a good spray tan, but seriously, have you ever seen anything cuter? Anyways, be sure you sign up for the text and email notifications so that when this whole collection drops, um, hang on, I'll show you another thing. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's look. So I've got to go get content stuff. Um, look at this dress. Look, it says the Courtney collection. And then it's like embodies her vibrant fashion sense and playful spirit inspired by designers as free people. Courtney's collection has enchanting, whimsical feel and delightful array of bright colors, captivating prints for standout pieces that demand attention. This collection and fashion becomes a celebration of individuality and a testament to the power of embracing one's own style and confidence. How exciting! Anyways, I'll make you feel like I've arrived. Um, seriously though, this dress, oh my god, like, so, um, I got to like work on picking everything out, but it's all online. So to actually see pieces like in real life, so exciting. Um, anyways, so a whole bag full of goodies. Um, and so, but I've got to take pictures of those, uh, and get all of the content over to them. And, uh, but that's exciting. Um, so cute. So cute. Anyways, let's get ready. Um, do, 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 do. Still haven't found the bag, the missing bag from vacation that has like my concealer. It has some of my skincare. Has my like Donna Karen deodorant. I don't know. Anyways, so that's going to come out soon. Um, be sure they'll have a discount available. I don't even know what it will be yet, but I know it will be 10 or 15% off. Um, I don't have a code yet. Anyways, I'm just, I was just excited about it. I hope I'm allowed to share about it. <laughs> um, but uh, that's going to be dropping here next week or two. As soon as I know all the details, I will like start posting, but there's so many just like 
makes you like feel warm inside. Um, so good. All right, Adam went to Lowe's with Veda. She looks so cute. She's in a denim jumpsuit this morning and he went to Lowe's with her. Um, and then I was supposed to be ready by the time he gets back so we can go to the yard sale and I'm not ready because I've been working on stuff, but that's okay. He also called and said, I went to Home Goods yesterday and I got new lamps for our bedroom. <clears throat> and he called and he was like, hey, however you packed this in the car, the lamps tipped over. So when I opened the trunk, the lamps busted all over the parking lot. So sad. They were the cutest lamps. And you know how, like, you know how it is. If you find something at Home Goods, you'll probably never ever find it again. And. Anyways, guess it's not meant to be. Maybe I'll find new lamps at yard sale. So. Just using some Pomifera moisturizing lotion. I use their brightening serum. And I am using some of the tanning drops from Pink Lily because I've been self-sabotaging and I haven't tanned. Hi, Lori. I'm glad you caught me live too. Good morning. All right, here we go. I love yard sales. I used to, when I was like super poor, I would go to yard sales or estate sales and I would buy like furniture that was just falling apart and my papa and I would kind of like reconstruct it and, um, or I would, if he wasn't available to like come, but a lot of times like if it was a chair that needed to be like nail gunned back together, he would help me with those kinds of things. And then I would like stain them or dye the fabrics and paint stuff. And I like flipped furniture for a while and did or found pieces that were like, I don't know, like a clipboard or something that was like brass and then put like a recipe or something cute on it and then I kind of stage it a different way and I would sell it on Facebook yard sale. Going to wash my hands. Give me a second. in there. Okay, so my goal is to try and get ready before he gets back home. Wish me luck. I don't even know how far away he is, but I know he's close enough that when he, he broke the lamp, so he had to be opening the trunk. Um, gonna use some unique makeup today. Um, dry my hands off on my legs. <sighs> Courtney Swan, when I try to place an order on Puma Fair, it just keeps spinning and saying updating. Um, any advice? They might be updating the website. I would maybe try back in a few minutes. That could be what it is. Kids start back to school next week. Um, so went back to school shoe shopping yesterday. I should have like documented it, but only had 3%. I almost wanted to record like a funny reel. Have you gone back to school shopping with your kids? I will be like, these are so cute. And like to be like, Ugh, not my style. And then I'll be like, look how cute these are. And like, mm, I don't like those, not my style. And then some stuff, it's like nice things. And they're like, those are so like outdated. And I'm like, okay, I'm like those are sus, those are mid. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so everything I picked out, none of them liked it. And I'm like, well, this is why I can't shop for you by myself anymore. Also, I think I'm a good shopper. And so I'm like, listen. And then, then this is when I realized I can't take it personally. Because we go into Rack Room Shoes, Pay Less, whatever it's called. It's like um, just, you know, the shoe store. And Skechers had some shoes that had poppets on the bottom and you pressed it and the like little hole like pop you know you can poke it in and out and so Lola was like oh, I want these like they were so ugly they had poppets on them and like when you step they lit up and I had to remind myself like I am getting offended by these young children who hate my style 
And then I have to remember that they are picking out things with poppets and unicorns. And we're just like in different, you know, because I would be like, ooh, look at these. Like these converse are cute. Mm -mm, not interested. And uh, so we did end up finding shoes that they liked. And um, I'm over like buying something and hoping they like it because then they just don't wear it. So I'm like, fine, you find what you like and uh, then I'll buy it. And uh, so Lexi had a new pair of shoes because she wanted like name brand shoes. And so hers were a little more expensive. And then Lola got two pairs of shoes because she chose like, you know, a better deal. And then trying to explain like, well, this is why, like, this is kind of real life. Like Lexi was like, but I want two pairs too. And so I was like trying to explain to her, then you have to get cheaper shoes. Like, that's just how, you know, and she's like, but it's not fair. She gets two. And I was like, but it is fair because like both have a hundred dollars. So like, and it's not like they don't already, like they do have shoes. They just want like new shoes for school. And so, um, I didn't feel bad that I'm like, this is kind of like, if I want an expensive purse, I don't get to get six. If I want a really cheap purse, maybe I could. If I want a really nice purse, I'm going to have to save up for a while and just get one. If I want a Target purse, then I might could get one or two. Like, you know, you feeling me? Anyways, so we had like a nice little real life lesson on how, how it works. Um, what's the Ebby code? So if you're needing a bra, Ebby has their deal going on. I did a live on Ebby the other day. Um, the code for them, it's actually SWAN30 right now. We'll save you 30% off. If you go to CourtneySwan.com, click the Ebby link and use the code SWAN30. I don't think I've updated that code on that link tree. Um, I'll do that on our drive. Adam just pulled up in the driveway. Um, and so, but that's the code. And a lot of you had questions. Actually, I wear this bra all the time. Uh, it's the bra I had on in the video, but hang on. Um, about where to find this bra um the video from the other day let me see and the larger the sizes you get in these the longer they are so this is the xldd so that's why it's like a little longer but in the picture it just looks like kind of like this because it's of a smaller size so if you aren't an xldd or above then yours will be like a half an inch shorter but because your breasts are smaller it's still like long it is it's under the supportive section so you just go to it's the supportive like bra and so you just go there and um there they have like bundles and stuff as well I almost flip that chair that would be embarrassing um oh uh so all right I gotta get going I'm never gonna make it to the yard cells it's like I think it starts about an hour away from us and we only have a babysitter until trying to find my brush. We only have a babysitter until five. So it's already 1230 here. Hour away puts us at 130. Then you have an hour drive back. So, and you don't want to go all the way there and not have like, you know, any luck. I'm trying to find my foundation brush. Well, I don't know where it is. Let's see what this has on it. We'll use this one. All right, going in with the shade Eyelet. Uh, not sure if I'm willing to speak. Can I describe any two sensitivity I have since veneers contemplating getting them but can't tolerate sensitivity? So personally, I don't have any more sensitivity at all than I had before. I did struggle with sensitivity after I would whiten my teeth. Um, but so it had been a while since I'd whitened them. And then, uh, cause I don't like like the cold or whatever. I do use Sensodyne toothpaste. Um, and I got the non-invasive veneers, which means I have the majority of my tooth, my natural tooth underneath my veneers. So that probably makes a huge difference, but they were like non-invasive. I thought I just saw a cat. Oh, I did. Hi, you wanna say hello? Well, she's gone just like that um and so I don't have issues with that but I know people who have had veneers and they've had to have a lot of their like tooth 
you know, maybe because their teeth were really crooked or whatever it was. Um, mine was just more that I had like, um, I had a crack in one of these, like a split, uh, not crack to where I couldn't eat or whatever, but you could definitely see it on the bottom. And then my teeth just weren't the same length. Uh, anyways, hopefully that helps you. Okay, going in with Unique's Serum Plus Foundation. So it has skincare, anti-aging skincare in addition. Do the bras give you good support when you have a large breast? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Um, yeah, so my chest is very heavy, and uh, that's why I love this. It's, it has no underwire, and again, I didn't put the link here, but you just go to CourtneySwan.com, click Ebby, and use the code SWAN30. Um, I wonder if I can link it. Hang on. No, I can't. I mean, I can link CourtneySwan.com. Um... So Adam went to take Elvis to the vet today. He's had like soft, this may be TMI. At this point, what part of our lives do you not know? So he's had like soft stools uh, for like a week now. And then when we were on vacation and he was at like the dog kennel, one of the days he had an accident in his kennel. And so he was supposed to be at training this week, but we we're like, we're just going to bring him home to watch him. If he ends up like continuing to throw up or whatever, we'll take him to the vet and just kind of see what's going on. So we thought maybe because he had been on their dog food, maybe it was upsetting his belly. So we were going to take him back to training today and we, there was throw up on the porch. And so we're like, great. He started throwing up again. So anyways, we went to the vet and the vet couldn't get us in. So we called and there's actually a local like comes to your home vet. And so, uh, that's super exciting. So that's going to be a good day when you have big dogs, like getting them, especially ones that don't listen well, getting them into a vehicle is crazy. Uh, but so that's not even the funny part. Uh, the funny part is Adam, Elvis is huge now at this point. He is, um, nine months old. He weighs over a hundred pounds. He is not a good listener. That's why he has to go back to training. If he jumps on you, he, his arms are here and his head's above my head. He is gigantic. He's a Bernese mountain dog. And I don't know how big he's going to get, but he's huge. And, um, so he ran off from him today. He had his, uh, like a lead on him that you kind of pull it and it tightens. Well, he got his head out of it while he was getting stuff out of the car. And so he ran off and there was a guy putting in trash in a dumpster. Elvis is not aggressive at all, but he was just ran towards this guy who was putting trash in the dumpster and he's huge. And so the guy started screaming and Adam was screaming like, Elvis. And, um, Elvis didn't come to his name, of course, cause he doesn't listen. And so, um, scared the guy to death. He ran inside of an apartment complex that he doesn't even like live in and ran in there, like shut the door. And another guy like came out and held Elvis until Adam could like get there quick enough. And so it ended up being a big thing. Like, and Adam was just screaming because he was worried about him getting hit by a car and because he had just like slipped out of his lead. And so the guy was scared to death of him. Um, which I don't blame him. He's a huge dog. If you thought he was aggressive, then it would terrify you. But he, thankfully he isn't. But that was our morning. Um, so I don't know if it's because they've been, you know, like we did have to board them while we were out of town. I don't know if that's why he's kind of sicky. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So... Oh, could be eating frogs or rabbit. He could be. Honestly, Elvis could be eating anything. He has destroyed, he's been the most destructive dog I've ever had, ever. I'm using Ophir's setting powder. I just really, really love this. And my um, powder that I was using from Unique uh, is in the missing bag. So sad though. Hang on. Yeah, no, that's not it. I wonder... This is it. I just spotted it. Okay, well, so I wonder where the bag is. Oh, maybe it was in something different. I don't know. Okay, so anyways, you can either use Velour if you wanted to use something from Unique. You could use uh, Velour's pressed powder if you need like a more fuller coverage. Or I personally um, use... I meant to do concealer as well. I'm like having a hard time talking today and saying 
on task. Oh well. No concealer for me under my eyes. A little bit of redness here. Right, how's your day been? What's everybody been doing? Anything good? Don't want to brag, but I'm not sure anyone's going to have more fun than me at the world's largest yard sale. I have been wanting to go here for so long. I also told Adam we need to take his truck. And he was like, why? And I was like, well, what if we find a big piece of furniture or a lot of stuff or something big? He was like, we don't have room. Like, where are we gonna put it? What are we gonna, and I was like, don't crush my dreams. If we're going, I'll be so sad if we found something. If it's something you can never live without. Gotta, gotta be prepared. So, funny story. Um, while I was at Home Goods yesterday, I found a giant picture of a cat with angel wings. It's like two cats with angel wings and then another cat, it was like a painting, and another cat was like in a mermaid shell. And so he's kind of been like, you know, I've wanted cats for years. He's not really a cat fan. He's finally caved and now we have the kittens. And um, he is, he's such a dog guy, but not really a cat guy. He's not mean to him, but he's just, they're not his favorite. So now I've been getting him like, he's like, you're gonna, you're like a crazy cat lady. Like you want all these cats. And so I'm like, okay, you want to be crazy cat lady? Here we go. So for Father's Day, Lexi got him a mug that says cat dad. And then we have gotten him like little cat things. And then I've also been getting like little cat trinkets for around the house. So I found this painting yesterday at Home Goods. It was $30. And it's got the two cats with angel wings. Then it has a cat coming out of a shell kind of giving like mermaid cat vibes but they're like actual cats and so and then when i picked it up behind it was a cat painting with a giant crown on its head and a big fluffy dress so i bought them both and i'm gonna put them up in the house i'm gonna put one behind the he uses the hall bathroom the most and so i'm gonna put one of them in that bathroom and then i'm gonna put the other one probably in the kitchen um, I didn't see how long it takes him to notice these giant cat photos. If I can try and like, if I can try and document it to be like, okay, I know he's going to go to the bathroom soon. I'll like kind of be on the lookout or I'll tell him like, Hey, I changed some, I put up a new picture in the kitchen. Can you see if you can find it and see what his reaction to it is? Um, so today while I'm out, at the yard sale, I'm gonna try and find some cat things too. And uh, if you guys see, oh, yard sale traffic is crazy on Signal Mountain. Thanks, Sheila. I don't know if we're going to, uh, Signal Mountain's not far from here. Um, I don't know if we're going there. That might be my quickest. Um, I feel like they would have good yard sales. Or if we're going to like Dayton Dunlap. I don't know, he's looked at routes of where, I'll just have to ask him. So do you ever do stuff like that? Like little, I love, I don't know if I'm just a prank type person. I just find it so funny. Like I have so much fun. And he does like little stuff too, where it's just like little goofy things. Just call me Courtney the cat lady. I really would have like more. I just love them. Especially if I just ran upon one. Like, oh, here's a cute cat. Like, but see, I don't want off the side of the road cats. I did that with watermelon. I also have an outdoor cat named Watermelon. Um, we would like feed her. She came around for a while. We honestly didn't know she would like stick around. And then she stuck around for years. And then when we moved here, um, brought her with us. So we have her as well, but she doesn't snuggle you. She doesn't give you any of that. Like every now and then, if you're giving her food, she'll rub her body up against your leg or something. But I'm like, I want a cat that just like lays and purrs and like rubs its face all over me. And just, it's, you know, like that. So the, um, I'm a sucker for a stray cat, but, but 
I mean, I'll feed it, but uh, they're not friendly. Or any of the ones I've had, at least. And then they end up running off. <gasps> Speaking of cats. Hi. This one, this is Penelope, and she just came and rubbed up against my leg. Did you hear me talking about how much I love cats? Hi. You want to be best friends? Hello. Where's your brother? You went down? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all on their terms. Totally on their terms. Your cat literally lives on your chest and neck. Oh, it sounds amazing. I just love it. Okay, I'm not doing a ton today. Um, this is actually kind of a boring live, sorry. I did take pictures this week of several looks that I want to do. One is like a really gold, um, like really beautiful gold kind of look uh, with like a wing liner and gold on my inner corner. Um, all right, this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Liner. It's in my Amazon storefront. Go to CourtneySwan.com, click Amazon. It's there. Uh, I have found... It's just my go-to lately. I haven't tried Unique's uh, liner. So I don't know how good it is, but this one I know is good and I like it. Kind of went a little high, friends. We're going to just, the other side, I had been using this for, I don't know how long, before I realized that uh, one day I just accidentally grabbed the wrong end and it had a spoolie on it. So... Um, undecided. Let's go in with just some pinks today. I feel like this will be really pretty. Okay, this is palette number nine. Going in with this kind of a champagne color on my lid. This is how I'm gonna make this a not boring live because I'm about to do some fun. Also, when I said that, I was like, all I could think of was like, watch me whip, watch me knit, and that's not really even fun. But it's like, do you know when your brain just comes up with things, you're like, what is happening? Ooh, this is a great color. You have a kitty let him have a pup we have a puppy well, i did i compromised first letting him get all this uh so we have a puppy um he's huge okay going in with this mauve color it's the lightest of the mobs on here and i'm just doing this as like a really nice Crease shade. This is beautiful. Am I back with Unique? You haven't been able to catch me in a while? Yes. So I, they started an affiliate program last month. I got to be part of the pilot for it, which is where I can still work with all the other brands that I love, like Palmafera and um, Pink Lily and any other, Modair, all of it. So I can still do all the things that, I do as my job and I can work with them. So I used to work with Unique for like five years and then they had a rule come out that was like, you can't work with other brands only like if you do Unique and you're at a certain level, like that's what you have to do. And so I was like, well, uh, uh, I can't afford to, to pay my bills <laughs> at that, doing that for the way I've built my business and, um, whatever. And so I was like, okay, well, I would love to be able to work with you, but still rep other brands. And that wasn't an option at the time. So, uh, fast forward, 
for now years later and they're like hey we understand the industry is changing influencers or a lot of people who do tutorials don't just work with one brand um here's another reason why for example i love Palmafera skincare. It is great for my skin. It has done crazy things for my skin. I have a lot of customers that love it as well. It has been so good for me. And so I'm like, I don't, if I don't love a certain thing, I don't want to have to talk about it because I'm committed to only working with this one company. Like I want to be able to like make the choice to share whatever I want to share. So now I am part of their affiliate program and I can still work with them. I can show tons of really cute looks. I love the variety of things that they have for their products. Um, but I can still work with brands like Ophir or whoever else, Tarte. Uh, like I have a partnership with Tarte and um, use their concealers and just got some new lip glosses in for them. Anyways, it makes it really fun for me. I get bored easily and sometimes I just like to mix it up. Like it gets really boring for me to do the exact same thing all the time. So this allows me to do that. So long story short, I am back with them and it's really, really exciting. Um, okay, for my uh, right there, that pop of plum, I used this corner shade. This is palette number nine from Unique. Right after it. I'm gonna just go in here, take that plum shade right underneath the outer corner of my lower lash line. This outfit hasn't launched yet. Um, I have a whole collection dropping with Top Shelf Wardrobe here in the next week or two. And just be sure you're signed up for text or email notifications and then kind of be checking my Instagram um, because as soon as it drops, I'll definitely let everyone know. There's so many good We've been waiting for months for them to come in. And it was a really fun process of like weeding out like, no, I don't like this. Yes, I love this. Um, like, I think my audience will really love this. Like, I don't know if this is the vibe that, you know, they would really like for fall or this is too springy and fall's coming. Like, I don't want to have anything that's seasonally not where it's supposed to be, or, you know, like dropping something that's really doesn't, you know, I'm like, oh, I'd wear that in spring, but not in fall. So I tried to keep that in mind. It was hopefully you guys will like it. I think they're really cute. I'm feeling like I'm going to go in with just a tiny bit of this green right here. So as an affiliate, I will never have a team under me. That'll be the only difference. When I did Unique before, I had a really large team. Um, and so I just won't do that. So as an affiliate, I'm just dropped it. Just an affiliate. Which means I just, just like I do any other brand. Like I just talk about whatever products I love or want to show and share. And I don't have to worry about my team hitting certain goals or anything. All right. Um... So I showed Ophir's mascara yesterday. It just restocked. And then I've gotten a lot of questions of like, what's your actual favorite mascara? Like kind of things like that. And so I will say, if you're wanting a mascara that is like 12 hour plus wear, you are going to Dollywood, Six Flags, whatever. It curls really well. Then Ophir mascara is very strong to like not come off your lashes. Um, it almost has the same like waterproof, but it's not waterproof. You know what I mean? Like it's not like as hard to get off as waterproof. They do have a waterproof. Um, and then it's kind of gives you a very curled, but, uh, thick coating. This is the unique mascara. It's the 40 Epic mascara. It has fibers in it that lengthen your lashes. And then the Ophir mascara has castor oil in it, which makes it to where, um, it helps your lashes grow. But Unique did launch a new mascara that I haven't gotten in yet, um, but I'm really excited for when that happens. And they launched a mascara. I just bought it this week. I'll let you know how it works. But it has a primer and a serum in it. It's called Quadra. You can order it, CourtneySpawn.com, click Unique. Um, but 
my friend Esmia sent me pictures of her using it and then her using like this is a like I feel like I love the way my lashes look with this they look really long it has the little fibers but her lashes with the quadra looked like touching her eyebrows so I ordered it I'm just a sucker for mascara and makeup in general like I just think it is the most fun thing really 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 love it I haven't gotten to try it yet but I ordered it now I'm gonna try it um so I have the pink lily nash bash coming up so pink lily trip in about a week and a half So excited so I had no idea when I started this business a long time ago like eight years ago I uh, started doing makeup tutorials and then I met friends and then friends who didn't have followings at the time like nobody did like we were all just starting out you know and then as our businesses grew then you end up going on trips with people like to different places and you know um I have always thought the philosophy of like being kind to others is so important and then also not even realizing that throughout my career throughout the last eight years that like all of a sudden I would be going on like even after maybe I wasn't working with a brand or whatever like I would reconnect with these people over and over so like for example Pink Lily trip or um going to that Columbia trip for Ebby um and it's like oh I'll get to see people I know so I am such an introvert and it's really hard. I have to like force myself to put myself out there. I get so intimidated by people. And, um, but after doing this for a long time, eventually you're like, you're at the same thing for 10 times. Eventually you like meet people, you know? And so, so I'm excited for this trip because I feel like, okay, I've done this a few times and I already know a good bit of the people there. So, Have I ever been on TV? Uh, so yes and no. Uh, I've only done like local news interviews, but some of my ads for launch are on like um, the Good Morning Show or uh, Fox News or like uh, websites. Like if he does Fox websites or anything like that, um, my ads play. Like sometimes Adam's friends will send him a screenshot and be like, hey, your wife's on, like, whatever. USA Today, like, snooze thing. Um, can't think of any. Or, like, uh, Snapchat or TikTok. Like, my ads will play for hair. I'd love to be on TV, though. That's, like, my dream as a child. I was like, I wanted a cooking show so bad. I used to pretend, like, Emerald Live like, I was like, how fun would that be to have a cooking show? Or like a home or decorating show? Pretty much, I don't know. I just think it'd be the best thing ever. I think it would be so fun. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but this is kind of like having a Hi. show. Hi, sis. Ooh, you look cute. Thank you. Can you do my makeup? Uh, maybe a little bit. Mm. What kind do you want? You tell me what you want. We can do it. You want a surprise? We can do it really quick. Yeah. Do you want mascara or no mascara? No mascara. Okay. So just, okay. Let me finish this one eye and a lippy. And then you lippy. be think. you be thinking of what lippy you want. You want a matching lippy? Is it dark pink or light pink? You tell me what do you want? Dark pink or light pink? Light pink. Light pink. Let's do it. Okay. So that's two quotes. With the Mood Struck Epic 40 she's, mascara. She's too cute. Too cute. That's you. They're talking about you. How cute are you? Adorable. Okay. Adorable. I agree. Doesn't get any cuter. would be great. Too cute. I love you. Top. It's groovy. I was born in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. No, the person. No, the person messaging it. I was born in 1989. Okay, you look at these colors and you tell me which one you like best. Do you want to try this one? This is called 
pouty pink. Do you like that pink? Okay, or there's this color, which is kind of like a that looks really cool. Really light color. Can we I could do put, that we could put color? this. How about this? We'll put this on the outside and we'll put that on the inside. You like that? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Can you kind of go? Ah. Uh, soft. Good lord, it's hard. Ooh, this is a good color on you. I feel like I'm at the dentist. Do you? Yeah. Do they normally put lipstick on you at the dentist? No, it's just you like, go ah. Uh, oh, soft. yeah. Go all. Uh. No cavities. <laughs> Teeth more. Have you brushed them this morning? No. <laughs> I was like, I told you earlier to brush your teeth. We should have done teeth brushing before we did lipstick. Okay, rub your lips together. It's kind of like dry, so I can't really do it. It's okay. It's because it's a matte. Here, if you ever feel like your matte lipstick has already dried on you, put a little bit of chapstick on it. And that's now good. you'll, mm -hmm, that's more good. Now you'll be glossy. How's that? <laughs> All right, love you. Do you want this in the center? Yeah. Mm hmm. Cutie patootie. What can I say? Oh. Mm -hmm. I All right, we'll mommy. do this. I love you, Jesus. Mommy, why does Atlas have to go to the doctor? Because he keeps throwing up. So maybe he ate something he's not supposed to. Do you think Elvis would ever eat something he's not supposed to? He probably ate the cat food when he came inside. Like, I don't yeah. think it's cat food. He did probably, but I have the cat food on the counter. All right, we're going to try this and we're done. He's tall though. He's Elvis is tall. He could get it off the counter if he wanted. Palti pink. I love this yeah, eyeshadow look today. Elvis to die. He's not going to die. We're just getting him checked out so that we can make sure that he's good. Okay. Can I stay in here? Huh? What? Yeah, go for it. So this, I got a joke. Oh, tell it to me. What's your joke? Oh, I got Oh. Oh, no. You don't know? Oh. Oh, I got Can you remember? Do you have any jokes about cheetahs? Yeah. Okay, tell it to me. Oh, why can't cheetahs play soccer? Why? Because they're cheetahs. <laughs> so funny. I have a lot of jokes. She does have a lot of jokes. Okay, so this is the color. That's a cow joke. Okay, give me a cow joke. Um, uh, not not. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. If you cow don't here. like that one, I got others. You have others? I like that one. Okay, let me finish up and then we'll go get some breakfast okay. stuff, okay? Or lunch stuff or whatever yeah. time it is. I Did you, breakfast. um. Yeah. It's okay. You you just had iced coffee and then you did one cereal. Well, snooze you lose, child. Um there are about a thousand snacks down there, so if you were starving to death, what would you do? Get a snack or go ask my dad? Ears kinda look like an elf. I love elf ears, they're my favorite. Um Okay, so this was pouty in pouty in pink and I honestly feel like it matches this outfit like perfectly. Um, and so uh, there was also this color minted, which is like this pale pink. And I thought about putting that in the center, which we can try it. We'll see how we like this. Uh huh. Can you say hi to her set? Your beta? Okay, so I like that in the center, but I'm gonna put a little bit more. I love being a big sister, except for Tanya and sometimes diapers. She yeah. gets really poopy sometimes. I love being a mom too, but I could probably handle without the dirty diapers too, but somebody's gotta do it. Yeah. Someday I wish we just had a robot where you could change. Oh, that would be a good idea. We could invent it. I don't know about me. 
Okay, so that was with just like a little bit of that minted in the center and then some of the regular shade like on the outside. It just kind of gives you more of a, if you have any okay, lighter color check. in the center, it makes your lips look fuller. All right, end us, Lola. End us with a funny joke. Okay. I What do runners eat before they race? Eggs. Nothing. They just passed. Oh, that was a funny one. I haven't ever heard that one. You're the best joker. I got a Cinderella one. All right. Well, tell it to me, and then we're going to okay. tell them bye, okay? Why I got to get going. Uh, I mean, why can't Cinderella play soccer? Why? Because she kept running away from the ball. <laughs> you're so good uh all right you guys <laughs> i hope you have a good day if you have questions about anything you can go to courtneyswan.com um i used addiction palette nine from unique on my eyes today and then i used the splash matte liquid lipstick in the shade pouty pink for our lips and then i used their actual lipstick in the shade minted just right in the center um i used the shade Hemru for my contour i will list out below all the colors that I used and products today. You can find them at CourtneySwan.com. Be sure you have your text and email notifications turned on so that whenever this new clothing collection drops, you get a notification. Um, it'll, I just wanted to, well, I wanted to wear this today. So bye. anyways, I'm headed to go yard sale. Can you tell them bye? Bye. All right, we're out of here. Bye guys.